set myself this year was to go on a walk every day and I'm also currently doing 30 days of yoga with Adrian, yoga with Adrian. So today this is our walk for the day. It's the first time this year that we've actually come down this way because Jodie wanted to see her friend Gavin the cow but unfortunately he's not here. The field is bare so she's not happy but and sometimes there's in the bushes along here and here and there's little bunnies there's little bunnies that live here and you just try and spot them but they're not here <laughs> on our way home now because Jodie still has some schoolwork to do just thought I would get her out in the fresh air get a walk in so she'll finish that off I'll probably get on with some cleaning of the house and maybe some editing as well but it feels good to be out I actually do feel really good for having walked every single day even during the rain no matter the weather she goes on a that is the plan no matter the weather it will be going for a walk <laughs> oh, and this hill oh my god so out of breath views kind of make up for it though but <sighs> cheeky so somewhere down there somewhere over there there's this big squelchy patch and mum couldn't get across it so I had to help her across it and she was holding on to everything she could <laughs> Mum the adventurer <laughs> going on a trip <laughs> on our favourite walking path with no cows. Very, very sad. So I thought I would pop on here just to show you what my bullet journal is looking like for this year. This is the book that I went with. This is one that I mentioned on my Etsy haul where I got this from a company called, there we go, and so they made. So this was personalised from the colour of the book to what I wanted here, which is 2021. I've note down that it's my bullet journal there with a number one and then that's my name there. It won't show up, I don't think. You can kind of see it there. Alright, so this is the bullet journal. I've got it a bit dirty there, but well. So I decided to go with the dotted paper, which is very traditional when it comes to bullet journals. So when I first open the page here. I've got a couple of notes that I've got from Jody. She'll make me these probably... <laughs> she goes through phases where she'll make one every night and then there'll be nothing for a while but I really appreciate them but I decided to put here life begins when you let go of fear which is something I am really trying to work on and then it's just decorated with washi tape. So I've got here my future log and I also got these stickers that I mentioned on the Etsy haul from the Ginger Cat Co, I think it was, and I said that I would let you know how I was using them and this is how I've decided to use them. I've kind of made Dutch doors here, so I've basically just cut from a couple of pages, just cut a strip up the top here. You can see it's future log, still need to colour it in a bit, but this is basically what I'm doing with this. So I have four months here. I'm decorated at the bottom with washi tape again. So then I can add important dates. 
usually the dates that I have tend to go between, let's say, October. It's my busyness starts. So I have some stuff going on in October, November, December, and then joining for being March. March is usually my busiest with birthdays because like my whole family is there as along with Mother's Day and the clocks go forward. So after the future log, I have done a savings tracker. So I mentioned in my vision board video that I wanted to save £5,000. So here I've put, put down that the goal is 5000 and in order to make that happen I need to save £417 a month roughly. So I've gone month by month with these little boxes going in 50s up until this small bit here which is just the extra £17. And then when I put money aside I will colour the blocks in. So I've also put my I've put my start total here and then at the end of the year I'll put my finish total to see if I reach this goal or not. So that is my savings tracker there. And then on this side I have my 2021 reading list. And I will have mentioned these books here in my what I'm reading in 2021 video. Just a little wash tape here, it says enjoy little things, but just quick run through. Think like a monk, Jay Shetty, change your brain, change your life, Dr. Daniel Amen. Also from Dr. Amen is a memory rescue, and then have sapiens and human design. I haven't added my Welsh book here yet, which I will do, but I've left another one blank here in case I manage to read all of these by a miracle, a chance of a miracle. So moving onwards, here is something that I've roughly planned out which is what I want to plant this year if you've watched any of our earlier videos you will have seen that we have did some carrots and planting more vegetables and things are just something that we're thinking of doing so we've got a small list of things that we might try and grow here and then I've I kind of did a little bit of research on when to plant them and when to harvest them but I'll double check with them when the time comes. I also still need to plan out my garden for that. So if you'd like a video on that, let me know. So here I've just done a page for my YouTube growth tracker. And then also my, uh, some video ideas I cannot jot down here. And then this is my cleaning the house tracker for the year. So this is everything that I do daily, which is make the bed make the house nice and spiffy, make sure there's a dish-free sink at the end of the night and hoover. And then weekly, and I'll tick these off as I go, is that I polish, do the bathroom, mop, do, obviously, do the laundry, bins and beds. And then I also have some monthly things here, which is like clean the dry filter, clean the oven, clean the fridge, just like the bigger appliances. And then quarterly, I have cleaning the washing machine, and also cleaning behind the cooker and the fridge and all that. I, I could also possibly add more to this for why I've left space. And then these are the projects that I'm hoping to do within the year. I want to deorganise and deorganise. I see my kitchen's already deorganised. So I need to reorganise and declutter my kitchen. I need to finish up my bedroom, declutter under the stairs, which is that mess over there that can take me all day to do because it's proper clear out so then i have here as well as to clear out the spare room and make that into an office so i've done those as two separate projects and then also to clear out the garage because i don't know what the i don't know what the rules are on taking things to the tip just yet so then here i've put in a little travel tracker and this is for when lockdown ends i'm going to note down everywhere we go when we went and why whether it was just a walk or a day out or wherever just be nice to keep track of that when we're allowed to go out again so that so far is the the yearly 
spreads that I've done and now we're moving into January so I just put a little pink out for every day that's done I don't really have any special dates except for the 25th here and I'll just put a little pencil heart there the 25th of January is known as Saint Dwin Wednesday and Saint Dwin Wednesday is actually just like Valentine's Day for Wales she's Saint Dwin is the Welsh saint of love so we celebrate that in January and then Valentine's in February. So then here I have my habit trackers and my sleep trackers. So you can see here how I've been doing with the habits that I want to keep up. So doing my skincare in the morning is a bit touch and go. My yoga I've been doing every day, it started on the 2nd, which is why I've put the cross here, but I've done that every day. I've been for my walk every day. I've yet to journal. <laughs> I might do that today, I don't know. But I'm reading every so often as and when I can. I'm slacking on my water because I'll only fill this in if I've done my full one litre intake. Doesn't mean to say I've not drank any water that day, but I'll make sure that I colour the square in if I've done the full litre or more and then here is where I colour in if I've not spent at all and I've gone a week where I spent a little bit every day which is really really irritating so but I'm hoping to colour it in today the 11th because I have nothing to spend today and then also doing my skincare at night is something that I'm still trying to keep up with and same with the uh, marking the boxes if I drink a full litre. I'll only mark these if I do my full skincare. And then here is my sleep tracker. I'm trying to keep track of the hours that I'm sleeping. I might change that come next month because I actually want to see what the hours are that I'm sleeping. So here you can see on average it's about nine. <laughs> Let's zoom. Yeah, nine to ten hours that I'll sleep. I had really little sleep there. I had to get up early, but I didn't manage to get to sleep till 3 a.m. So I was really tired, which is why this went down to 12 hours sleep. I do enjoy my sleep. I need a lot of sleep to function. So then, in alignment with my yoga here, I have copied out the uh, calendar here for yoga with Adrian. I am following her 30 days of yoga. I do it every January. I feel like it helps me get back on track. It's like that New Year's, getting back on track with the healthy habits. So I will do that. And then I've decided to do one line a day just to keep up to see how my month goes. And then I've just gone into my weekly spreads. This was like the first weekend of January. The New Year, it's not much. So I just kept it plain and simple. And then here I started writing out my to-do list of what I wanted to do and some things kind of got migrated because depending on how I feel like Thursday I just it was a write-off day for me so I sort of moved what I wanted to do into the other days but still like Sunday I need to catch up with all these in the following week so in the bottom I've just got my notes and what I want to do and then what I want to do next week and so I've done this week's layout just a bit more organised, I'd say. So I have a list of what I need to do this week. And then I've not really filled in the weekend yet, just so I can see how I get on with these next few days first. Because whatever I don't manage to do here, I could possibly do here to make sure I still get it done in the week. And then at the bottom here, I decided to do a end of week reflections where I ask myself certain questions that questions that align myself to my goals. So have I put money in savings this week? Have I started my journaling? Like we saw like I've not journaled yet. Then also have I made a morning routine schedule? And then I have my notes here. And then I've left this space here for but at the same time I do this, I should have swapped these two around really, but these this is a space for next week's notes. So, so yeah, and that's it so far. 
I'm quite enjoying how this is going. I look at it every night to keep myself accountable, to help remind myself. So some of these habits, you know, they're still in alignment with my vision board. I was actually looking at my vision board a lot when I was planning all this out, just to make sure that I got everything down, making sure that I kept myself aligned with my goals. And I think this is the page that I am most excited about. I don't know, I just I spent a lot of time doing these banners. I'm not really creative at all. So just being able to do this and looking back at this and it gets me excited to keep colouring a square off. That is my bullet journal for 2021.